If we go way back to one of the first videos where we talked about primitive types, I just gave you a brief overview of them. We've now covered number, string, boolean. We haven't really talked about null or undefined at all. We've seen undefined once or twice. Now we're just gonna quickly run through them. They are very simple as far as primitive types go, but they can be confusing for beginners as far as what, what they each do and how they're different. Both of them represent the idea of nothingness or something not being there or the lack of a value, but there is a distinction between them. So both are primitives and we can just type them in the browser, in the console, null, undefined. We could make a variable and set it explicitly to them if we wanted to, but let's talk about the main difference. Null is a value, it's a primitive type that is the intentional absence of any value and you assign it yourself. So you could make a variable and set it to null. So here's an example of that. We might have a variable called logged in user. And at the beginning of our application, there is no logged in user. So you will explicitly set it to null. You make it nothing. You're telling JavaScript, there is a value here. It's just the value of nothing. And then if someone logs in, you could set it to Alan Rickman. And then if Alan Rickman logs out, rest in peace, I think, is he dead? I think he is. Yes, he is. Rest in peace, Alan. We could then reset it to null afterwards. So it is the explicit value of nothingness, of emptiness. It's null. Undefined is different. Undefined is a value that represents a variable that does not have a value assigned to it. So it's kind of semantically annoying to explain, uh, but if you think about when we've seen undefined so far, if we tried to access a string like LOL square brackets of four, we get undefined. There is nothing defined there. We don't usually set something to be undefined ourselves. I mean, technically we can, const u equals undefined. If we look at u, it's undefined. Normally though, undefined is a value we get back from JavaScript. Like if we initialize a variable, let color, but we don't give it a value, so we declare it, sorry, we don't initialize it. If we look at color, it exists, but the value is undefined. We never defined a value for it. Compare that with something like current user. We could explicitly set that to nothing and then change it later on if needed. So both of them represent kind of similar concepts. So we manually or explicitly assign the value of null to a variable. Again, it's the intentional absence of any value when you want something to be empty. Undefined is not necessarily saying something is intentionally empty. It means that there is no defined value and it's nuanced, but that is different. Now, if you're confused about this, you don't feel super great about it. You will see undefined all the time. Uh, we've already seen it before, as I mentioned, trying to access characters that don't exist or indices that don't, don't exist in a string. We'll see it when we get to arrays and objects. It's very common to see. Null is something you yourself use. You set something to null, and it's not totally uncommon, but you won't deal with it as often as you'll see undefined. So don't panic about those, but those are the last two primitive types we had on our list. We've now covered numbers, a lot about strings, a little about Booleans, and a little about null and undefined. Next, we're going to Boolean land. We have a lot to talk about as far as adding logic to our applications.